JT way. Now let's get it, man. First, remove the engine cover. We want to get the engine cover out of the way, okay? Next, what we need to do, and the very important thing to do, is remove the battery terminal. That's right. We don't need no electricity running through the system while we do this. And next, what we want to do is remove the PCM. Get it out your way. It was completely in my way. I don't need any kind of distraction or any kind of computers in my way while I do this. But I want you to remember something, man. This uh, bolt over here on this side of the PCM have a, a ground strap, so please don't forget to put that back on. So let's get the PCM totally out of the way all right now we need to remove some of the electrical connectors anything you can see this electrical we got to get it out the way let's release this quick connect right here to remove this water hose right here i hope you got a bucket under the bottom because you're gonna lose some coolant all right this is if you haven't removed the coolant in the first place okay we got that hose out of the way next what we want to do is uh, I'm going to need a set of pliers for this, man. I had to get some uh, a pointed type pliers. I've got to reach down in there and slowly but surely push in the terminals so we can remove this hose right here. Okay. Next, what we want to do is time for the oil pump to come off. I mean the vacuum pump. We got to get the vacuum pump out the way. It's held on by three bolts, ladies and gentlemen. Let's remove all three bolts. That would make it easier to remove. Alright, after the last bolt out, just simply wiggle the vacuum pump back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, until you get it out. Alright, let's lay that thing to the side because we will need it later during reassembly. Alright, now it's time for to release. Oh, I got a poppy pop right there. That's okay. Uh, no, no, no damage done. Now we got to remove the connector off the coolant temp sensor. Next. What I'm about to do, uh, that's the thermostat housing, ladies and gentlemen. That's the thing we're chasing. That's what we got to get removed, okay? But it's a 10 millimeter bolt right down there holding a bracket that's also holding a water hose. And once we get the water hose out the way, uh, we simply grab your 10 millimeter socket and remove this 10 millimeter nut. It is, it's in my way, okay? Now that we got that out the way, oh, uh, what are we doing next? What are we doing next? So we simply reposition the bracket. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, what's next? What's next? What's next? Okay. Ah, radiator hoses. We need to get that out the way, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, grab a pair of pliers, remove it out the way, then get you a hose pick so you can break, break the seal loose off the hose. That would make the hose easier to remove, like this ah again i hope you got a drain bucket under the bottom we got that out the way now ladies and gentlemen uh what we want to do now start removing the thermostat housing bolts as you know there is four of them okay the top two tens are real easy once you get this bracket get all the bolts off the bracket because you will not be able to remove the bracket just yet until the thermostat is all the way loose now i grabbed me a six inch quarter inch extension a 12 inch extension and here's my swivel socket sets I'm going to use. But first a little trickery I want to show y'all. This is something I learned a long time ago. Grab your extension. Let's get this fit. Let's get this 8 millimeter bolts off first. Okay. Uh, they just seems to be the easiest because the hardest one is the 10 millimeters on the bottom right. These two here are easy. You got a 516 hole and a little bitty bracket on it. All right. And once that, like I said earlier, man, you cannot remove this bracket just yet. The thermostat have to be loose. Okay, so let's remove the bottom left 8 millimeter bolt. Let's get it out the way. All right. And now it is time for, what are we doing? What are we doing? Oh, I got to get that nut out of there. I got it out. It is time for some trickery, ladies and gentlemen. Let me show you a little trick I learned a long time ago. Put your swivel socket on there on your extension. What we want to do is tape this thing up because we do not want to lose this expensive 10 millimeter max socket that I have right here. So what I'm going to do is completely tape it to my extension. I mean tape it real good. I will not lose this socket. I will not lose another 10 millimeter socket doing a thermostat on a 2.4. Now, the hardest part, positioning the 10 millimeter socket with your extension, we're going to make sure it connects to the 10 millimeter bolt. That is the hardest part of the complete job, ladies and gentlemen. 
All right, you got to finagle your hand. You got to find a way to get it in there. You got to find a way to make sure it contacts the socket. Once you figure that out, grab your ratchet. Uh, simply screw the 10 millimeter out. That is the hardest part of the whole complete job. Do not lose it. Do not. You don't want to drop the nut so you could simply hang on to the extension. Reach down under there. Grab the socket and slowly but surely pull your extension and hopefully the nut out at the same time just like this ladies and gentlemen that was not easy that is the hardest part of the whole job the rest of the way is pretty simple now let's get this bracket off of the thermostat housing because once we do that ladies and gentlemen removing the thermostat housing will be pretty easy but we got one more hurdle we got to cross, okay? Now that I got the thermostat ha housing off of the cylinder head, I can now move this bracket. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's up to you if you want to reuse this bracket or not. I suggest you do. I don't think they put any parts on a car uh, for no purpose at all. It has to be on for a purpose, all right? So this last little hurdle is this pin. This pin right here is holding this cooling hose onto the thermostat housing. So take your pick. And slowly but surely, release the pin out of its secured place. But you don't want to drop the pin, ladies and gentlemen. So be very extremely careful. Reach down there and grab the pin with your hand and bring it up. Now you can simply remove the hose from the thermostat housing. And voila, there you have it, people. The thermostat housing on a 2.4 liter multi-air engine. This can be found in the Jeep Cherokee. 2.4 liter like I say uh, That's it man You simply open your new Your brand new Hopefully it's a brand new thermostat Housing It comes complete with the thermostat already in it Simply reverse the removal procedure And you are home free Ladies and gentlemen I don't want this video to be long I jump right into it So I'm going to jump right out of it Thanks for watching Comment, subscribe And I'll see you on the next video Yo